Uh, hey guys, I am about to go over to my sister's house and learn how to use this heat press. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm really not sure what to expect, uh, but I'm going to try and take some video while I'm there and find my glasses real quick. All right, see you on the other side. My sister Libby is teaching me how to use the vinyl heat press today, and uh, she is going to show me uh, how to use it by making a koozie. Uh, yes, oh yeah, there it is. It's going to be beautiful um, for her father-in-law. So right now she's just cleaning the vinyl. Weeding. Weeding, weeding the vinyl. Sorry. Weeding the vinyl, taking off uh, the negative space that will not actually be part of the design. So this has already been cut and she's just pulling off the excess vinyl. And it's actually looks really satisfying when it's working the way that it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. Good, good, good. So that's our completed design. Cool. And now, oh, that's awesome. So you want to make sure, see this is really loose, I want to make sure I make my tension tighter because you want it to really press. Okay. And it was probably loose because before you had all that T-shirts. Padding yep. for T-shirts. T-shirts and padding and. Okay, so that'll lock down. Okay. It's always nice to kind of preheat your material. It takes any moisture out of it, so your design sticks better, like an iron would. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I take this. The side is sticky. Mm -hmm. The side is not, and I line it up where I want it to be. And kind of press it there so it's like a sticker. Cool. And press it down and hold it for the 11 seconds on the timer. And so that just restarts every time you pull it down? Yep. Cool. Yep. It'll beep and it stops beeping when you release. It's stuck a little, it's okay. Oops, yep. And it saved me a step here. Um, oh. Pull, <laughs> pull the uh, transfer page off. Right. So then we have the design here. Um, you like to see the texture coming through on it. So oh, okay. after you pull the plastic off, the transfer tape off, I always like to press it at least one more time. Um, if you see the, the pattern of the cotton or whatever, you know, the koozie or whatever material you're doing, um, then you know that it's the likelihood of it peeling in the corners and that kind of thing is not gonna be bad. So you can see here like the A, Oh yeah. Kind of see the tractor wheels I are a little bit bigger. I think that's coming out on the camera, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that close. looks great. Oh, that's super cool. So yeah, then it's done. All right, so I have brought in my NPDF design, as well as, I don't think I've shown this yet, uh, this is very similar to some of the stickers that I hand out. It's actually the same design, just flipped a little bit. Um, and that's going to be uh, a little 3x3 little three three circle that's going to be probably on the shoulders of uh, hoodies or on the upper arm of hoodies and maybe on the center back of the t-shirts and so now we're getting ready to uh, to utilize this guy the uh, the vinyl cutter I've got my little roll of vinyl and we're gonna cut some designs out very excited and we'll just do a quick test cut make sure that our settings are right so it cut a little triangle. So then here we weed it and make sure, yep, it made us a nice clear triangle. Nice. Um, you know, the vinyl came off correctly. Yeah. So well, I think I think we have the right settings. The biggest thing is you don't want this to cut through. Right. Because then you have to pick all your letters and you don't get them lined up nicely. So okay. we will go ahead and send this to cut. It kind of reminds me of how like 3D printers work, how they go back and forth and lay down layers and stuff. This just does it once, I guess. Right. <laughs> One thing I was considering is that it's cool that it's kind of sticky so that you can really center it before you heat press it. So that's really nice. You kind of get a lot of tries. With, uh, with screen printing, it's like you just better know where it's going to come down because you true. get one try. <laughs> So now you can see, it kind of shimmered a little, yeah. you can see the letters, yeah. the cutout. Neat. 
right, cool. so we will go to the heat press. Weed the vinyl. Yep, and just pull it all the way up. Mm -hmm. It's really uh, kind of stab at it and hook it in the middle. Okay. And then you can use oh, that yeah. to peel it up. Yep. Cool. Look at that. Look at that. Smooth. Pro awesome. Now, we got the middle here. And I love when they just come off all in one piece. It makes me so happy. It's the little things in life. That's all it. right, look at that. That's your design. There's my design. Moment of truth. I'm excited. <laughs> Plastic's still on there, right? That helps. Now peel it off. Maybe start from the top, because I don't want to hurt that corner. Ooh, ooh, spicy, spicy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh. That looks sharp. Alright. Oh, yeah. Okay, press and it down again. I can already see the pattern. The pattern coming through a little bit. Uh, I wanted to get a nice short sleeve so I could show you guys more exactly what this is going to look like. Um, this is just a shirt that I found at Target and uh, was the only one that was like kind of close to the color of the shirts that I'm going to get um, for uh, for sale. So this is this one's kind of exclusive, but but you get the idea. That looks sharp. All right, so that was pretty awesome. Check it out. Check it out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I don't. I don't know, uh, my wife looked at the back and said that it was maybe a little, a little tilted, uh, but I, uh, I don't know, I like it. So for a first attempt, uh, I think everything went really well, and I learned a lot about using the heat press. I feel like as soon as I get a rhythm down for doing it, I'll be able to crank out shirts just about as fast as I do screen printing. So. An interesting thing, uh, just some comparisons, I think. Screen printing, I really still like a lot, um, but the there are some advantages to using the heat press over screen printing. The one disadvantage that I've noticed for heat press, there, there are more steps before you have a shirt. Um, so, you know, having to, uh, you know, get your design ready and then actually use the cutting machine to cut it out of the vinyl and then to weed the vinyl, that uh, is pretty time consuming. But as soon as I get a little bit better at actually weeding, I think that will go a lot faster. My battery died, uh, so we're, we're doing a little handy cam just so I can get this all wrapped up. So there's a little bit more process before you actually go to press. Uh, but then once you've pressed the shirt, you're just done. So I really do like that. Uh, I think that that is an advantage because there's no screen to clean afterwards. And of course, uh, there's nothing to store. All I need to do is store files. Once I have a file made uh, for a shirt design, I can just save that and reuse it as many or as few times as I want. So I don't have to dedicate uh, physical space to a screen and I don't have to take the time to get a screen made um, in order to print shirts. So it makes it a lot easier for me to do like small runs of stuff. I'm very interested to see how it'll work on a hoodie. I don't have a hoodie to test on right now, um, but that's, uh, that's coming. Uh, now that the Kickstarter's over, I can go ahead and place an order for the t-shirts and hoodies that have been ordered as part of the Kickstarter for backers uh, rewards. Um, need to send out some surveys to people. Probably do that this next week. Uh, as soon as I actually get the Kickstarter money, I can start putting in some of those orders, uh, and yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here. Thanks as always for watching, um, and I'll see you guys later.